23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. And I'm Tim Callahan. Here's what's making news tonight. Apple revolutionizing the music industry when they introduced iTunes. Today, though, CEO Tim Cook announcing the app will be going extinct. Instead, Apple will introduce three new apps focusing on music, TV, shows, and podcasts iTunes made its debut back in 2001, allowing people to individually buy songs and albums, but now tech users are more into streaming services and subscriptions. If you're worried about all the music you purchased or the items you purchased, don't. They will migrate with the new program when it's released. Sephora makeup stores across the country will be closing all their locations for several hours Wednesday as staff members undergo diversity training. The move comes after the makeup store was blasted on social media by R&B singer SZA, who claims staff members at the upscale, upscale Calabasas location racially profiled her. SZA claims security watched her closely after a staff staff member reportedly believed she was stealing. Sephora officials say they will be closing down on Wednesday morning for several hours for diversity training. The Sephora at the Valley Plaza Mall will also be closing down but will reopen at 11 a.m. Game two of the NBA Finals kicking off Sunday. The Toronto Raptors, Raptors entering the court on top at the Warriors. They left victorious evening out the score of the series. The NBA Finals kicking off last week in Canada. The Raptors pulling off a victory there 118-109. However, the Warriors they came to play this weekend. They were trailing slightly the second quarter, eventually coming out on top with a tight score, 109-104. That means both teams entering game three with a win in each of their back pockets. And that system that brought that rain and those thunderstorms, very active weather yesterday. It's clearing out, making way for high pressure tomorrow, and those temperatures are going to rise significantly. We're looking at those upper 90s here in Bakersfield tomorrow. 71 expected in Fraser Park, 83 up in Dehatchby, 76 in Lake Isabella, and 91 out in Mojave. Those temperatures rising even more on Wednesday. We could potentially see those triple digits, first 100 degree day here in Bakersfield. Staying hot on Thursday, but then cooling back down to more seasonal temperatures by the end of the week headed into the weekend. That's your latest news and weather. You can find the top stories anytime at turn to 23.com. Good night.